the Fantas Collection launched their first website, fantascollection.com. I took a long time going through all their books. Let's see what I picked up. Stay tuned. What's up, fam? My name is Joseph, and I want to welcome you to another one of Wolverine Comic Shop's unboxings. I hope everyone out there is having a good day. Fam, as I was just telling you, the Fantas Collection dot com website has been launched i suggest you take your time to go take a look at it it's just fantasticcollection.com uh so far he's they have hundreds of books already posted up both with the custom label without the custom label trading cards are getting put up as well as sports cards and roll books are going to be hitting hitting the web page as well there's a lot that they're going to be posting uh from the fantas collection uh, that's Darren Watts, uh, uh, son of Dale Watts, the owner of the 300,000 comic book collection that has been being sold off the last couple months, uh, the last year or so. I purchased a few books and I was ecstatic when I found out that the website was launched and that I could go and browse and see what books I would want to pick up. So, uh... The very first day it went live, I jumped in there, went through all the books, and I was blown away by not only the category of books and the different mixture of what I could purchase, but just the prices. The prices they have set up there are absolutely amazing. So with that, we're going to jump into this very next unboxing. Uh, really excited to add these books to the personal collection. Um, you will see why here in just one second. So the first book up, first book up is a book that I've been wanting for a really long time. It's always eluded me. Um, super expensive, expensive in a high grade um, and for good reason. So here she is. The second book I picked up um from the fantastic collection from fantasticcollection.com bang oh my god oh my god oh the coa is here too holy shirk all right hold on a second <laughs> first the book yeah a beautiful 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 copy so we have Fantastic Four, number six, annual, in a CGC 8.0 white pagers. This is the birth of Franklin Richards, first appearance of Annihilus. And I mean, <clears throat> he mentioned that the book was not even pressed. And it, it looks awesome. It looks amazing. I am super stoked to add this one to the personal collection. Take a look at that. Hey now. And the COA, this is the first ever CGC, uh, CGC, first ever Fantas Collection uh, COA that I've, I've gotten. Certificate of a Providence, COP. Fantas Four Times. Okay. Um, should I read this? I'm going to read this. Holy cow, what's on the back? The first ever CGC custom proven label. Yeah. Don't got that yet on this one. We might have to resend it in. All right, let's read this. Here, we got one more book uh, on deck for you. Super cool book, too. All right. One musing man spent 50 years instilled with the dream of collecting comics from many ages and genres. The genius was a U of M law school where he compiled comics to debate the powers of superpowers with fellow classmates. How do you beat Red Skull with the Cosmic Cube? Later, as a student of history, he became passionate about saving and preserving comics as an archival record of our culture. He amassed a vast range of titles that explored various aspects of our society through the past. At the time of his passing in August 2020, 
He had accumulated approximately 300,000 comics. See, I think you guys thought that I was like lying when I said that. 300,000 comics and magazines, none of which had been graded. When the collection was uncovered and comics began to be graded, the amazing title's completeness and condition of the comics were astounding. The two highest value comics preserved in the collection included universal CGC grades of Superman number one, 7.0, and Batman number one in an 8.0. I did not know about the Batman 8.0. The collection also includes duplicates of many, many titles, first appearances, and first solo issues, often to hundreds of copies each. Complete runs of Superman, Spider-Man, X-Men, Fantastic Four, and many others also exist within the collection. His eldest son has now begun to unveil the Fantastic Collection to collectors and investors everywhere. The feature documentary film, Selling Superman, presently tracks his son's odyssey as he navigates the collectibles world along with his family and friends, all while for forging new friendships along the way. I'm a friend. When you acquire an item from the Fantastic Collection, you become part of our family and journey. I'm part of the family. And you respect and, and pay respect to the dedication my father had for identifying, possessing, and preserving some of the most influential stories and fictional characters the world has ever seen. I truly hope this collection helps to further you on your own journey of collecting. For more information on the film and collection, visit SellingSuperman.com and FantasComics.com. Darren Watts, son of Dale Watts. Founder of the Fantas Collection. Wow. That is flippin' awesome! Okay, that leads me into my next book. Holy cow. Alright, so when I saw this book, it was the first book I saw. It was going for a hell of a price. And I said, it's the only one in the world. Let's get it. So... A book I've seen multiple times. I'm sure any comic book collector from the 80s and 90s has this comic book in their collection. They just don't have this one from the Fantastic Collection. <laughs> That's so flippin' cool. I'm a part of history, folks. Let you take that in with the custom label. That's why I got it, because of the custom label. I really, you know, it's in case. It's there. So what is this? Tell you what this is. It's Valiant Comics. Ray, number zero. Valiant, November 1992. A beautiful, beautiful copy that was purchased by Darren. Darren Watts dad, Dale Watts. I mean, how awesome is that? Super cool custom label. Love, love, love it. Love, love, love it. All right, and there you have it. Put you right there. Love this, shout out. To the fantastic collection shout out to darren watts thank you very much for allowing me to be able to add these to the personal collection fam if you're not doing so already go ahead like subscribe turn on notifications tell a friend to tell a friend follow me on instagram ebay tiktok shortbox whatnot twitter and we will catch you at the very next Wolverine Comic Shops unboxings. I can't stop slapping. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Peace. Let's go, bub.